my French cleat wall is built. And I have a couple of things hanging on there, but not anywhere near enough. So I built some more tool holders. My shop is very much still a work in progress, but the biggest task is all done. Insulating part of the barn for a shop space was just the start. Now my goal is to organize this entire shop. I started that by building the French cleat wall. And then added a few things to get started. The drill charging station and the shelves helped to clear a bit of the clutter. But now I want to make something to hold a few tools. My first choice was something that I use a lot. So it'd be great to have a place to put this where it's easy to access. I'm starting with a new 4x8 sheet of birch plywood. This is the same stuff that I used to make the cleat wall. I'm going to cut off a piece just a little wider than the saw. I almost always have the Bora guide on the saw, so I'm designing this holder to fit the guide. I marked out an area for the blade guard to fit through, then I drilled out a couple of starter holes for the jigsaw. I use this jigsaw lots as well. Maybe I should make a holder for that one next. But first I want to put a chamfer on the cutout. Maybe that'll make it easier to put the saw down when I'm done with it. I cut a couple of support pieces at 45 degrees and then attach them to the base. And then I added the backing. After that, I add a little stop bar to keep it from sliding off. The last step is to attach the cleat to the back of it. And now I have a new holder for my skill saw. I'll just put it on the cleat wall and see if it stays up. Well, that one was pretty quick and simple, and it's holding the saw well. Now for that jigsaw. After the skill saw was done, I was left with a few scraps. So I thought I would challenge myself to make this one out of only the scraps from the holder I made for the skill saw. These scraps are all that I'm allowed to use. I think I'll start with these two pieces here. Next, I'm gonna take this one and trim a little off the end at 45 degrees. Now these two pieces get a 45 degree cut as well. I think that's all the pieces I'll need. Now I need to make some room for the blade. I'm going to do this in a couple of passes with the router. I probably should have done three passes. That got a little smoky at the end. Now to try to assemble this. After all of that, this is what I end up with. I started with the back supports apart, but it seems stronger to have them closer together. The jigsaw goes in toe first. There's a slot for the blade, and then it's held in place by these two back pieces. It is a little springy though. So I may have to add a little support underneath, but I've got lots of scrap left for that. This turned out pretty well. It's nice and compact, but strong enough to hold the saw. And it's really easy to put it down and then pick it back up. That's two holders done. Okay, on to the next one. Last week I started a holder for the Forsner bits. This is made from some of the boards that I reclaimed from the shop conversion. I've been waiting for a set of metric drill bits to arrive so I could finish this one off. And the bits have arrived. So I started drilling. And 
then I use the countersink bit to widen those holes a little bit at the top. It does make it a bit easier to put the bits back in after use. Okay, let's see how these fit. Okay, that's enough of that. I wanted to add a chamfer to this one, so it doesn't look so much like a block of wood. And why not add some Danish oil as well? I bought this stuff about 10 years ago for a project and never used it. And it's been sitting forgotten for far too long. I'm gonna test it out on this piece. I like it. Now just add a cleat, hang it on the wall, and add the bits. That's looking pretty good. And I have time for one more. I had to decide what to do next. Something that holds things that get used often. Well that's just too messy to look at. There, that's better. Now, what of all these do I want to put on the wall first? I think I've narrowed it down to one of these sets. I chose the screwdriver set. Sorry guys, you'll get your turn. I chose these because I have this reclaimed chunk of rough cut wood. And if I cut away the rot and mill it down, it might just fit this set of screwdrivers really well. The first step is to plane it down on both sides. This doesn't have to be perfect. Being perfectly square doesn't matter much in this application. Once both sides are flat and smooth, now I can use the electric hand plane to smooth out one side. Then square it up on the table saw. And that's when the battery died on the camera. But this is what I ended up with. After marking up where I want the screwdrivers to be and cutting it to length, I set up at the drill press. I don't want the screwdrivers to wobble around too much in the holder. Or I'd just drill a single hole for each and be done with it. Instead, I'm gonna try to match the shape of the bottom part of the handle a little. To do that, I'm gonna use this large Forzner bit and just drill down a bit, about half an inch. Then I can use the mark in the bottom of the hole to center the next smaller bit and drill down about another half inch. Then I can use the center marker on that one for a small bit and drill all the way through. that drilling left quite a mess. And while no one was looking, I gave this block of wood a little round over. I considered using that same Danish oil on this one, but that would be boring. So I used this old can of liquid plastic. It smells terrible, but it looks pretty good. Now I add a cleat to it and attach it to the wall, and then move the screwdrivers into their new home. That clears a little more clutter in the shop and put a few more tools into an easily accessible area. I'm loving the cleat ball. There will be, for sure, more tool holders added in the future. But I think it's going to be time to move on to these stairs and get them out of the shop and into the other half of the barn. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And why not share it around and see who else might like it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.